Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm in the middle of doing a, a crochet tea cosy. Um, I have two teapots. I've already done one. I've I've knitted a, um, a tea cosy, so I'm doing a um, a crochet one this time. This is just with um, odd bits of um, yarn I had um, left. A little bit of blue and little bit of uh, cream and what I've done I started off with um, a 40 41 chain it was actually 40 because the, the the one the last one at the end is for the the turning and I've done two rows two rows I'll make that a little bit closer I've done two rows of single crochet and then I started the pattern off. That was just the edge, the border edge. And then I did one row of double crochet, one row of single crochet, one row of double crochet. And I did then I changed to the um the cream and did the same there. One row of single crochet, one row of double crochet. And I've done that all the way, all the way up. And this is a stripe I put across the top, but I added this after I had finished. The, doing the whole crochet thing so I will show you after on the piece I'm doing now um, when I get to that part how to do that and then how to do the um, the decreasing on the um, all the way up so I've got a little part done of the um, I've done the blue part of the second part of the um, the cosy and as I think most of you know how to um, to crochet, but I'm going to add this this bit of cream in. I'll leave a long end for to sew in afterwards. So I've just finished the um, the blue, and I'm going to start with one chain single crochet row and as I think all you know most of you will probably know how, how to crochet you miss the first the first chain go into the second one and just repeat that all the way along the the row And I'll just pause that till I get to the, um, the end of the row. And I'm at the end of the row now, the last couple of stitches. And I want to do this last one in there. There. And so the next row I'm going to do is a double crochet. So I'm going to do two chain at the start of this row. And so I'll put the, the yarn over the hook first, miss the first chain and go into the second one. Anyone who might be watching me doing this for the first time, I'll notice that um, I hold the yarn and the hook in the same hand. Very different to um, what a lot of other people uh, do it. But uh, the other way is like, to me, is like continental knitting. And it doesn't come easy to me. And I prefer to do this way. So just in case you're wondering the, the funny way I'm doing it. It's not funny to me. So I'm going to, to double crochet all along this row.
like before I'll pause this until I get to the um, to the end a lady mentioned to me in a, um, a comment um, I just noticed um, today about uh, crochet she thinks uh, it's quicker to crochet you know she can do things quicker and I agree with her it's it's a lot quicker to do something by crochet it is by knitting if I was doing the same thing and I was knitting it it would take me twice as uh, long the crochet is a lot quicker and this is for I never mentioned at the, um, the start of this, but I'm using a four millimetre crochet hook. Or for anybody my age, um, it would be a, a size eight. And I'm using double knitting um, yarn. And this is some of yarn I had left over from a cardigan um, I did a while ago. It's um, already so crafty double knitting yarn. Almost at the end of the row here. Yeah. Oops, I missed the yarn over the needle. A yarn over the hook, I should say. And that's all. That's all this pattern is. It's after you've done the two single crochet, the border at the um the bottom. It's um one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, all the way up. And I think I did, um, after the border, I did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, about ten rows before I started the decrease. And I'll have to check up on that. But uh, when I come to the decrease and row, I'll come on the video again and uh, show you how I did that. Right, I'm on to the, um, the decrease, the first decreasing row. And I always, I do the decreasing rows on the single crochet row because it's, it shows less through the, um, on the pattern. So my first single crochet our crochet one stitch and then miss one stitch and crochet five stitches And then miss the next one, so it's crochet five and miss one across the row. So that's the same as miss every sixth, every sixth crochet, every sixth stitch. And miss another one. Miss another one. Mm. 
I miss another one and then the last one. And that's every every sixth stitch along that row I've missed and then I will do another four rows of crochet, another double crochet, single crochet, double crochet, and then on the fourth, the fourth row, the single crochet, I'll decrease again. And this time I'll, I'll miss miss every fifth stitch. And then the next time I crochet, miss every fourth every fourth stitch, and then every third stitch and, until to get up to the top. And I'm almost finished um, the tape cosy. This is the the first side I've done and I've done the second side to match and as I told you about the um, the decreasing when you get up to the um, the blue here there's one row of single crochet which is a decreasing row and then one row of double crochet and the rest from here up to the top was all just single crochet and I kept on decreasing until I only had two stitches or two chain left at the end and out of those two chain I made two long long chains like this and I'm just going to tie those in a bow on the, um, the top when uh, it's all when it's all finished. And I did the same with um, this one. And now I'm going to show you how I put these stripes across the um, the middle. I've done one, one here, but this the stripes here is you have the ends, you know the ends left over. What I did with those, turned it over, and I just wove it in. I'll blow it up so you can see it better. There. I just wove it in so far along using the crochet hook on there as well. Both sides and any other colour that I didn't need. I've left a bit of um, the cream. What do I do up this? If I have to do any up the um the side, but I think I probably only need to um to sew up the um the blue. So I've got the blue there to sew. The same up the top. There's there's blue and cream for whatever I want to sew with. So now I'll show you how to put how I put these stripes across. There's with the crochet hook and on the um the right side. And I counted one, two, three. The third row of um, double crochet. So from there, I do one, two, three. And so from here, I started the hook in. And all I did was get the long end. I chained all the way along on each and each double crochet stitch. Just went under it, out, put the yarn over, pull it through, and then through the stitch, the previous stitch. And I've done that all the way along. Just make like like you're making a chain, that's that's all it is. And as you can see. That's how it comes out on the like a chain and I'll do that all the way across the same as the one below
it's very simple the the two of you joining breaking off yarn and joining yarn and yarn in the middle of the if you want a little just a little stripe like this in the middle of the um middle of whatever you're crocheting Now it's as simple as that. And you just need to, to cut the, the yarn off and tie it through the loop. There you are. Very simple. All I have to do now is stitch it all up. And then I'll show you the product, the finished thing when I put it on the teapot. Well, I finished my tea cosy. I'll take that one off. Put this one on. Thought I'd put a little more on the top instead of a, um, a pom pom. It's a bit curly. And so that's my crochet tea cosy. If you like this video and you like the tea cosy, thumbs up, give it a like, and subscribe. And I'll let you see whatever else I might think of doing next, using up my scraps of yarn.